Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be going over the newborn things that I feel that you do actually need and that are must-haves um, for your baby. Of course, I'm not going to be including anything like a swing. I feel like those things are more like to make your life easier, not the baby. The baby doesn't even know that that exists. So I feel that um, these are things that you do actually will need. Before I do get into this video, I do want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, you guys, so I have had one baby um, prior to this one, and which is Nathan. And of course, the first time, it was very difficult for me to know anything. I feel like every mother kind of just learns along the way, even... Even when people try to tell you what they think you should do, you will just have to learn yourself because every baby is different. And with that being said, I feel like some babies will, for example, like the the pacifier and some babies won't. So that's actually not going to be super necessary. I feel like you should always try to offer them a pacifier, but you don't, I mean, it might not happen, you know, so I don't feel like that's a must have. So I'm going to go over. I did make a list. Um, some things I actually don't have myself. So this actually taught me what I still need to buy and what helped me and what I feel like will help you and what you really need to buy. You don't need to buy any extra things you'll be good for the first two months with this um but basically i'm gonna go over it so first thing i put on my list is bibs so bibs i feel like are very very important even if you don't think that you will need them because the baby doesn't eat food solid foods you will definitely need them my first son my first son my only son my baby um he he's actually five but um, he would throw up a lot. He would throw up everything and anything that I would give him. He would just be like throw up baby and I definitely went through bibs a lot. Um, and I would always switch them out because you don't want your baby to feel uncomfortable, you know. And then if you leave them on when they're wet, it can cause them to like have a rash, like let us rosa. So I don't really recommend for you guys to keep the bibs. So definitely buy a lot of bibs and just you're probably gonna go through about four or five a day, like if he is like my baby. Um or even when they're teething, you know, they do kind of their saliva gets some wet, so you do want to always make sure that they always have a bib. Um, things like that, I feel like bibs are very, very important. Next thing on my list is clots. So this washcloth set, I feel like I actually got it from a baby shower, which I'm so grateful for. I might not even need to buy any more because it's 24 and this is quite a bit um and actually i feel like it's more for you to like for a me i would use it for when i was a bee, um, feeding him i would put it under like right here on his neck and that way if like the milk ran ran out um it would land on the little cloth and it wouldn't get him wet like all over his um chest so i feel like that's what you kind of need them for um just to clean them up really quick their mouth um, if you're on the go, I feel like these are really good. So you always want to carry a few in your bag. And I feel like these are definitely must-haves. Next thing are birth, burp cloths. So I actually don't have any burp cloths. But cloths. I don't know how to say that word. I'm sorry. But they are actually, they're labeled. They're kind of like the, the fabric of the bibs. They're on the, the maybe a little bit not too thick. Cause I feel like the bibs do have something under. They're kind of similar to this. You'll probably find them right next to the bib section. And they are just, it, it will say burp cloth. And you can always use a regular blanket or you can buy actual burp cloths. And they actually come through because most babies, a lot of babies, when they burp, they actually like throw up a little bit. Even if it's just a little bit, you always want to like put the cloth first burp them and they will throw up just a little bit so that way they throw up on the cloth not on you and that's something that I still need but I'll still put a picture of the things that I don't have just so you guys can get an idea of what they are um they are labeled anyways at the baby store they are gonna be labeled as burp cloths so it's easier for you to find but definitely you guys will need that next thing I feel that you will need are this little these little mittens and I definitely recommend for you guys to buy mittens. Um, one of the things is 
babies they don't have any control over their hands they don't know anything um, and most babies are born with nails um, some have longer nails than others which leads me to my other thing that you must have is a nail clipper and nail clippers they make some special ones for babies that are not too like sharp um, they're like tiny tiny and you just have to like cut them cut the nails as soon as possible because babies will scratch their face and it's just sad because sometimes they'll scratch their eye and it's like all red you know and you just that's really sad when you see your baby like I'm pretty sure it hurts so I feel that mittens are very important because that way they won't be like um, scratching themselves and that will protect them from them so mittens get a lot of these because they will get lost they get lost in the washer okay a sleeper so I didn't put them in order put anything in order so I'm just going through it however I just thought about it um, a sleeper what I mean by that is something that you can place your baby to sleep on like a little uh, Moises what is the Moises called I think it's called like a the little the Moises I don't know in Spanish we call it Moises or a crib or um, but I feel like the Moises they're very very um, good for the first month just because especially um, when it comes to the crib you kind of don't want to be standing up too far and the Moises you can put them right next to your bed and they'll sleep really comfortably I've my I used that actually for like my son till he was like six months and then we bought the crib and it was like perfect because um, he liked it and it was just more convenient instead of me walking especially because you are in pain down there um, instead of me walking like across the room to get him from the crib I would just like reach over and then get him um, and you always want to make sure that the baby has somewhere to sleep separately from you and your partner or yourself just because um, like SIDS um, that's like what it's called when babies just um, die in their sleep they just stop breathing that can happen and a lot of the times it's because they sleep with the with the with the parents and los ahogan so you suffocate the baby um, I don't know but you just always want to just prevent that so I definitely re definitely recommend for you guys to get somewhere for the baby to sleep even if it's a small um, little Moises just because I know that cribs are expensive. So in the meanwhile, while while you say while you save for the crib, you can always get a little one a uh, little moises and that should come through. Next thing you want to get are onesies. So there's two different kind um, of onesies. One of the ones that I first recommend are these. So these go under all of the clothes. Um, you just kind of put them on under the clothes and or you can have them like this just with their diaper but if it is cold outside or something you can always put like this and then one of these um i feel like my son used to live in these for like the first two or three months um because i mean they're just really comfortable and this is basically all they're gonna need they're, you probably won't even be able to go out for like the first month um and the baby won't be able to go out so in order for him to be comfortable i feel like some of these the sleepers i think they're called sleeper sleepers or pajamas in in spanish they're like mamelucos and these i don't know what they're called but these are like the onesies and i definitely recommend for you guys to get a lot of these because babies will go through them really fast um i used to have to change my son like three times a day so every time i would change him he would have to wear a new one a washed one and yeah so imagine going like every day going to through three of these you're gonna need a lot of them so I would definitely recommend maybe buying like 24 of them and just keep washing them and you should be good like with 24 uh, of them um, throughout his first his or her uh, first months of life and then some of these I just feel like they're really comfortable for babies um, I always my family always like we don't really dress them up like in dresses and stuff because we don't really go out the first month um but if you guys are gonna be just home i definitely recommend for you guys to buy these um and i get a lot of these at carter's for like on sale i actually got this for like four dollars so pretty good deal another thing that you will need are socks um 
a lot of babies like I like putting socks on my my kids it feels weird saying kids because this one is not born yet but my son I used to like putting socks on him because I wouldn't be able to go out without socks like I would always have to have socks on so I would feel like he needed socks a lot of people don't like for your babies to wear socks but I just like for them to feel as comfortable as possible um, you don't know what they like or don't like so I don't know if that's completely up to you but I definitely recommend for you guys to buy them socks I of course I'm gonna, I'm gonna be buying her more of these another thing is somewhere to bathe your baby so um, I know that there's actually for us I'm talking about like us I like, guess as, as my, my family um, we always bathe the babies like in the sink we don't really put them on the sink like you don't put the babies on the sink um, usually you kind of um, bathe them like how they bathe them in the hospital they do like the head first or I think they do the body first and then they do the head but they're kind of carrying them in their arm the entire time they don't really put them down anywhere because it's kind of like they're so little you kind of don't want to you know, put them down um so I feel like yeah I just on your hand and then just wash them little by little uh, you know as they get bigger you can actually like buy something to put over the sink so that they won't slip and they, you could just be holding them um and so you will need something like that they have i know like these little um this one that i want from bye bye baby um i'll put insert a picture and that's something that you can always buy and it's something that you can play um, place over the sink or um over a bathtub that you get um you can always buy one one of those bigger ones and then a towel of course to dry them off because you don't want to share towels make sure that you buy one separately for them and that will be their towel um, another thing that you will need is a laundry detergent. So this is Nathan's actually for now. Well, it's his. He still has to, um, I still have to wash his clothes with Dreft because he does suffer from eczema. So I do have to be careful what I wash his clothes with and he's just a very delicate baby. So this is stage two. They do sell a newborn stage, which is stage one. And I haven't bought it, but I'm going to buy it. It's the Dreft uh, still. And yeah you will definitely need to buy a separate oh they actually have it here so they have the newborn as you can see Nathan is using this one already because he's already older but you will need this one for newborn and yeah just make sure you wash their clothes with that just because their skin is very like sensitive you know and you don't want them to get any any allergic to anything so also lotion if you guys want to buy like the little samples just because some babies like I know for my son he wouldn't be able to take anything with he would have to just use till this day he uses the most natural stuff um just because he's always suffered from eczema and we've just never been able to get him to use like any of the um johnson brand things like that other babies can use but he can't like he'll just get eczema everywhere so um right now i feel like i'm preparing i don't have anything yet lotions or anything but i feel like i am preparing myself for her to be just like her brother and i am gonna be buying more natural stuff just because i mean it's more likely that she will be like her brother um since he has so much um problems like skin problems i'm just gonna even if she doesn't then i can always use the natural stuff it's like no big deal but I'm always preparing myself to like not buy anything that you know will be um, harmful for her. Another thing is swaddle blankets. So I, I skipped that one on here, but yes, a swaddle blanket. I actually don't have any. This is actually an example of a swaddle, swaddle blanket. It's just kind of like a set with the headband. Um, but there's like packs of swaddle blankets that you can buy without the like obviously the headband. This I got for my baby shower, but. And it's super cute but you guys can always buy them separately they come like in a pack of four or five and you just kind of want to have them wrapped up like this babies will like this because they just kind of feel more safe and secure especially like the first two months of life um they like to feel just like that security because you know when they were in your belly they felt like that just like really cozy and warm and tight so you always want to be sure you have them with i feel like swaddle blankets are a must have also Another thing that I actually don't, I actually do have it, but I don't know where it's at. Um, it probably will come out later. And it's a bottle warmer. So a bottle warmer, what it does is you place the bottle on it. You 
you put water in it and the water the water will basically boil and then you put the bottle and it'll just warm up the bottle basically and this is really good especially if you're like breastfeeding and pumping if you're pumping milk and you put it in the freezer in the fridge um you have to let it like kind of um como se dice descongelar so if it's super icy you know and the baby's hungry you're kind of in a hurry um you will have to warm it up you're not going to give it to them freezing cold so you have to warm it up a little bit um so i feel like that really helped me because i used to freeze my milk I didn't used to freeze it, I just used to put it in the fridge and obviously when my baby would be hungry um, and I didn't want to breastfeed him directly, um, we would have to like put it in the thing or sometimes the, the water is just cold, like sometimes it's in the winter and the water is just like naturally cold. Um, you do have, I mean the baby, I feel that we would always have to warm it up a little bit, even just a little bit just so that... I don't know what if he got sick or something I don't know but we would always have to warm it up and that really came through for us and that's why I asked for one for my baby shower and I got it I also do recommend for you guys to get a wipey warmer so the wipey warmer is is the same thing as the bottle warmer it just keeps the, the, the wipes warm and that's really important especially if your baby is born in the winter they're always the wipes are always gonna be cold for them because they're they're like really warm babies. The babies are warm, so you know any any time you like wipe their butts, they're gonna feel like <gasps> like they're gonna get cold. So I would always feel bad, and you know the wipey warmer would always like help, and it doesn't make them super warm, but it does help with them being so cold. And then of course blankets. You guys wanna have blankets even if the baby is born in the winter summer. I feel like blankets are important because. Like I said, babies don't really get hot or cold. I mean, they I feel like they get cold. Um, and you just kind of want to make them feel comfortable. You obviously don't want to, like, put all these blankets on them when it's, like, 100 degree weather. You kind of have to think logically, like, okay, is my baby going to be sweating in this? Like, if anything, just have them in their swaddle blanket. Like, they do not need any of this. If they're, it's, like, 120 degrees outside, you know? Um, but yeah i mean i feel like this is it you guys for like the must-haves the um the pacifiers i feel like they might not be super like a must-have it's kind of optional it just depends on the baby if the baby will take it or not um if the baby takes it of course this is a must-have if the baby doesn't then you're not gonna need it at all um there's some babies that don't like it my son would spit it out he did not like it so i'm hoping that my daughter does like it because it's a big help i mean it is a big help sometimes babies just want to be sucking on something and that will get them to sleep 